Hi folks, let me introduce you to this chess clock I just have made for my son. If you have seen my previous videos, you might be familiar with the fact that I like to use non-conform solutions. This project is not an exception in that practice of mine. In this case, it's not just because we will own a hackable gadget, but there is a twist in the design. You might know that commercial chess clocks are built with a tilting lever on the top. But I wanted to experiment with solenoids, and I expect a more discreet job with the design. We need a solenoid that has a magnet on one end and attracts the pin by default. But if we apply power to it, it can release the pin. The pin is connected to the push button. Then we need a spring for keeping the button up when released. When the pin is down, it is connected to the base that is connected to the case. If we solder a wire to the case and the wire to the pin, this whole thing acts as a normally open switch where the pin is one lead and the case of the solenoid is the other lead for the switch. This was a theory, but in the end everything worked as planned as you can see. I have soldered a copper bar to the end of the pin. This is the length of the spring. I wanted to use a spring from a ball pen, but it was too hard, so I made my own spring from a guitar string. All other things are 3D printed. Check out the video description for the design. For the case I have made some raw measurements with the expected size and I have designed this model. Again the model can be found for download. I have cut the faces out of 4mm plywood. For joining the faces I glue on bars in which I can drive screws later on. I have used this method with success for my previous projects and I am willing to be used in my upcoming case projects as well. But this time I neither want to have visible screws on the front, sides and top faces. So in those joints I have glued two bars and screwed them together, that was a bit tricky. Also have glued on posts for the switches, these posts will hold the electronics as well. I have used the Arduino Pro Mini in a setup where I can reprogram the clock later on. The wiring is very basic, I have used NPN transistors to drive the solenoids. The inputs on the Arduino are pulled high. Powering is built as a separate module on the back face and contains a LiPo battery, a charger and a power switch. This is not an optimal solution because the unit must be switched on for charging. Also I couldn't find the plate mount USB female socket in the market. This is how the whole thing assembled from parts. I've prepared custom code that will be developed later on for sure. I use my own product, the Soft Timer library. You can download the source code, just see the video description. That's all for now. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.